Hi kids, as you saw in the vi in the picture, you noticed that you could use any box that you have, a cereal box, a tissue box. I found this taco box because we had Taco Tuesday last Tuesday and I'm gonna use this because it's empty and I'm gonna use the inside. Um, I also have some crayons for color, scissors obviously because you need to cut. And um, I just have tape and glue sticks just in case. I wanna glue something onto my setting my stage so if also if you have any paper lying around at the end of this video i'm going to show you how to make a 3d flower in case your setting is a garden here we go let's get started okay so here's here's what you do first you're going to choose one side to cut through okay and you're just going to cut one lid want to cut the third side and I will explain why so you just want to cut two sides this side and I'm gonna cut this side so side one side two this is side three and this is side four side four is open like I said because that's where the opening is but we want to leave it attached on one side okay that way you can open it up and you have a little stage. Now, this is why I have tape, because if you'd like, you can close this third side back up and tape it together. That way your box is closed on the top and open on the bottom. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. Okay, so I taped it back up and now it's time to decorate. So I'm gonna give you three examples. I'm going to show you how you are going to draw the foreground, middle ground, and background if your setting is on land. If your setting is a cityscape, it's going to be a little bit different. And also, I'm going to show you if your setting is underwater. So in order for me to show you these three examples, I am going to be using the same box but I'm going to be putting a piece of paper inside to cover up the drawing that I made first, okay? So as we know, our setting and our stage is going to be for the little um, character that we created with our to toilet paper roll. I created a little owl, so first I'm going to do a land setting, okay? So that's what I'm going to do first. As you know, the, a landscape has a ground, and I am going to create hills, like little tiny hills, like this, using curvy lines. And I'm even gonna connect this hill to the edge. I am going to twist my box over and I'm going to extend this hill, this ground, to the edges. So it could look like it is it continues and continues and continues now i'm using a sharpie hopefully you have one if you do not you could use something else like maybe a pencil or a box of crayons now in the background i want to draw trees because i want it to look like my owls in a forest so watch what i'm doing i'm creating tree branches, tree trunks, and I'm making them a little skinny so that that more can fit in the background. Okay, you want to create, you want there to be a little house far, far away. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a hill and the farther away it is, the smaller the object or whatever it is you're drawing is going to be. So since I'm going to draw a house, I want it to look like it's far. So I'm going to draw a little house on the hill. And it's up to you, but you could extend it to go this way. 
right off the box. And I'm even going to make the house be a little longer. You could use the same shapes that I'm using to create a little house if you'd like. And then I'm going to add some details. Added the details to my house and now I'm going to draw like a little pathway and I'm using wavy lines. And I'm going to start it off very skinny and put together like the lines are going to be really close together and then I'm going to make it wider and wider as it goes down so that it looks like it's coming right at us and it's and it's getting closer and closer to us. If you'd like, you could add details like cobblestone and things like that, but I'll do that later. And of course, we need to add the branch, the tree branches, leaves. And this is the this is the background, this is the middle ground, and so the foreground, which is closest to us, is going to be your little character and any other thing that you add. For example, if you want to add a flower here that I'm going to show you at the end of this video, you could do that. Or if you wanted to add um, a little stand up, um, anything standing up, popping up from here, you could do that like a little house. And I'll show you that as well. Of cardboard I have here, I'm going to cut that off. I don't need that. And I'm actually going to use that to create a little standing up um, type of pop-up house okay so if you want it to stand up you're gonna have to add a little foot to glue the foot down the bottom of the foot down and right now this looks like a rectangle so I'm going to snip this this corner and this corner Oops, let me do it a little bit this corner and this corner and now I have a little house and I'm going to take my marker to add some details. So now that I've added some details, I'm going to take the glue and I'm going to glue my little house wherever I want in the foreground. So remember the foreground is what's closest to you. So um, I think I want it here actually right there. Okay. And of course you could add color, add your details to your, to your, um, your trees. I think I might even want more trees here and like smaller trees coming down from the hill. This is going to be a tall pine tree. See how easy that is? Okay. Let me finish this up. Okay, here's my finished stage, my little theater, and now I can play around with my owl. And hello! Oh my goodness, I'm so big and I do not fit in this house. <laughs> you can play around. You can move your owl to the foreground really close to you, or push him all the way to the back and maybe be behind the house. And now the house is in the foreground and the owl's in the background. You can have fun with it and play around and make sure to take pictures and show us what you've created. Now, if your character is underwater, then you could draw a little fish and put him on um, a piece of cardboard, fold the little foot so you can glue it down. And that's what you can put in the foreground. And you could also push him back. You can put him anywhere. And um, I would create little bubbles on here. Make some tiny bubbles. And I'm pretending, I found this blue paper. It was scrap paper, as you can see. You see, it doesn't even fit the right way. But if you find blue paper, you could just um, cut it up to size and glue it. Or you could just color your entire background blue and then add some details with a darker crayon or with a marker. And you're definitely going to want some fishies in the background as well. Swimming, maybe going in this direction, that direction, and then you can play around with your character like that. Now, if your setting is in a city, then 
you're going to want to think about what's the, in the background. Um, and for me, I would do buildings, maybe a little bridge, um, maybe a little moon in the background and some stars. I would definitely add some details to these buildings. And, and kids, I am running out of time. So I know in the beginning of the video, I promised you guys that I would show you how to make 3D flowers. I'm going to make that an option. Um, rectangles, do a little foot, and then you can turn this into a building. And then that could be in the foreground. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you've created a wonderful, wonderful stage for your cute, cute little character.